Yes, yeah, sure. So what I'm doing now is uh, I've got a bit of chicken for the uh, tikka. Um, yeah, the chicken I used was chicken thighs. I took the skin off and bone them out myself, but you can easily do that pretty good as do. Uh, the reason I'm using thighs, a couple of things. One, one the general succulent, so that is the rest of my advice. It's about 15 cents a minute. And the chicken thighs are a lot cheaper as well, so double, double them there. And what I've got here is a tikka paste. So I dry roasted some uh, spices, paprika, some cumin, some coriander, uh, some cardamom pods, and some cinnamon. Mashed it all up, uh, mixed it with some uh, chilies and garlic and ginger, and a little bit of water to make it into a paste. I'm going to put a little bit here to marinate it, and then the rest will go into matching into the tea and cook the dish. Like doing any kind of cookery, any cookery, cookery, Indian Asian, get everything ready first, and then start. So are there nutritional benefits from doing that kind of Asian Indian cooking in relation to the fact that you cook the food quickly? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna edit this, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um just thinking good that's it. Or is it just that it actually tastes nice and nice? Yeah, I mean, I think with, with something like tikka or, or curries, you know, quite vibrant flavours, you know, more appealing to eat, you know, it's going to, it's going to whet your appetite, you're going to want to eat it because, because, of, the, because of the smells and also the colours are going to be quite vibrant colours as well. Um, as you just mentioned, yeah, something quickly, all the nutrients are still, still in there, they're not leaking out into water or whatever, so, you're everything. So, thank you. Thanks.